I was on the board of directors for Habitat for Humanity. I was putting together an event and the person that I had selected to be the MC for my event had to cancel last minute. He had said, I can't do it, but I'll ask somebody else in my office to cover for you. But I'm like, okay, well, who is this for? And then he's like, you know that guy that always comes <laughs> over on like the weekends with a date and he watches your show? And I'm like, oh yeah, the guy that brings all the Saturday night dates to the show. I always thought that that was an interesting date to take somebody to see a live news broadcast. <laughs> so you can imagine. I got well, to see so many first dates. There were never second dates, which I never actually, that's a good question, why weren't there second dates? Because well, you never came back with second dates. I was too busy in being enamored with you. Yeah, right. She agreed to do the event, MC it for me. I had been planning this event for months. And then afterward he asked me to go to dinner at Yama. No, that would be Haru. Oh, but whatever. that's okay. Haru. It's only the first time I In ever Times took you Square. out. Yeah, something. but I thought of it as friends. I thought of it as he's doing, you know, he's taking me out to dinner as a kind gesture. I thought that this was a business <laughs> thing. I don't get involved with, with people that I meet through work. I mean, I do a lot of events, but I don't get involved with the people I do events for. So, and I have done a lot of events. And then the next day I got a, you look like you're gonna kill me. So then the next day I got, <laughs> you know he's blushing. So the next day I got a dozen yellow roses. <laughs> I just knew there was some special connection. And the first round, she likes to talk about how we had four rounds because we kind of broke up, went out, broke up, went out. He hates this part of the story because I think it's cute. I think that, <laughs> I I, I, see, it. I think it's cute because we call this round four because we got together, we broke up, we got back together, we broke up. We were in West Harbor in Long Island, right off of Center Island, where all the beautiful homes are, and we're on my boat. He wanted to learn how to go clam digging, which is my favorite thing to do since I was a kid. Hi, honey. Thinking Eureka, this is the moment, okay. So, you have a I wanted to, 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 to do the whole thing while clam digging. So we go ashore, it's pitch black, we bring a flashlight, Sasha's going to the bathroom, and while Sasha's going to the bathroom, it's pitch dark, so, so I, I like, went to go throw I was like, why don't you walk the dog, and go throw the trash out. I'm gonna see if I can find some clams here. She's like, it's it's not even low tide, it's pitch dark. Like, are you ridiculous or what? I dug a hole in the sand, I pulled the bottle out of my- Oh, when I wasn't looking. My pocket, buried it. And I purposely hit the bottle and it made that tink noise. And I, and I pulled it out, it was all muddy and I, I wiped it off. I was like, oh wow. It's a message in a bottle. And then she got all excited and was like, let me see it, and grabbed it out of my hands. So this is the note, okay? First of all, I unroll it and it says, Dear Julie. And I, my exact words, and I'm gonna just paraphrase, holy expletive, oh my God, my name is on a message. Oh my God, what are the chances? How weird is that? No clue, it's for me. <laughs> um, and then he's holding something and I'm with my flashlight illuminating my ring. And then I, I looked at him and like, what? Did you just, wait, what? I said, say it again, say it again, because I didn't hear you. And then he said. Well, then I stood up out of the mud and mud all over my knee. And, and I said, will you marry me? What? I'm in West Harbor. Yeah. And? I got engaged tonight. What? Yeah, <laughs> and he asked me to marry him in the beach in the dark. 